What's the real difference between a budget focused tent and an expensive tent? And why should I spend so much money on an expensive tent when there are plenty of options at under $200? Why is this a $500 tent and this is $160? That doesn't make any sense. Well, the price tag can't always be taken at face value. There are so many aspects beyond the price tag that have to be taken into consideration that are part of your buying process. So let's take the Nature Hike Vic here as a great budget example. There are a lot of things about this tent that I really like that make it worth that price tag at 160 bucks and it's a great value for that aspect. But what are some of the behind the scenes things that kind of break down why this tent only costs as much as it does? Oftentimes, budget tents of this nature use a lot of generic designs, generic components and things that reduce the cost. And they're gonna be made in factories that are able to produce them at a very high rate and their quality control aspects of the product itself may not be as high as maybe something that is made by Nemo in a different factory. And so just because something is made in China doesn't necessarily mean that it's junk. Like there is a difference between the factories that are producing these products, their quality control processes, and the processes that they put through their production cycles as well that create higher quality products. But with this Vic, for example, you've got generic zippers, non name brand zippers. You've got generic poles that are not part of the DAC family or the DAC company of poles. And so your componentry of this whole tent here is able to reduce the cost because from design elements, you're just taking generic items and putting them into the product. You have way less overhead with this tent that then allows for the product to be sold at a reduced cost compared to something like this Nemo Dragonfly Osmo. If I wanted myself to start an outdoor gear company today, I could do this no problem and never design a piece of gear ever in my life. And the issue with that is you lose out on quality products that are just mass produced at a high rate and they don't perform in a way that you would need to have them perform in the backcountry for the best experience possible. And that is my issue with a lot of the budget uh, focused tent items that you would buy from Amazon and such that just don't have the quality aspects that provide the experience over the long term of the product to give you that best experience possible. Well, take a peek into my home for the last two nights. This is the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo that is brand new for 2023. But what are the aspects of this tent that are different from that Nature Hike Vic? Why is there such a several hundred dollar price difference between these two? Well, let's break it down. The design aspects of this tent are way more sophisticated in my opinion than what you get out of that Nature Hike Vic. When you really look at the investment aspect of what am I getting out of this? You have a team of people at Nemo, in this case, or a lot of these big brands that are taking the time to solve problems with the design that they are creating. So they are making vestibule spaces that are larger and more usable. They are using pole structures with partners like DAC to get the best, highest quality aluminum pole structure so that you get the most strength and just overall protection of what the tent needs to do for you in extreme weather conditions so that it handles and does what it needs to based on its design. So using a partner like DAC, that jumps the price up by itself, but you know that using a DAC pole, you've got a lighter weight pole, you've got components within the design of that pole structure that make them a lot stronger and when you've got heavy winds, heavy snow load and such that is bearing down on that, I have way more confidence in a DAC pole than I do a generic pole 
like you have on the nature hike over here. Additionally, because you have a team of people that are sitting around designing these products, you are also paying for man hours that are attached to that. And then you're looking at something that is not white label. Like this design is unique and specific to Nemo. Nobody else has this design. But if you go on Amazon, you look at a bunch of different lightweight or just backpacking tents in general, you're gonna find pretty much the same design across 20 different brands. And that's because they just got purchased and made with a new logo stamped on it from Alibaba, most likely. And so using something that is unique, that has been designed and field tested, and is this the best design possible for this particular tent and what we want it to be used for? And then they'll go back to the drawing board and they'll make adjustments and fix things and make it so that it is the best performing product possible. And that equals money. That equals an experience that is worth investing into. And in this conversation today, I'm just using Nemo as an example. There are a lot of different companies that do very similar processes in their design aspects to create really high quality products. Big Agnes, The North Face, all sorts of different uh, brands out there. But Nemo, as an example, they are even putting a lot of money and time and effort into developing new fabrics. So this Osmo fabric that is on this dragonfly here, this is a nylon polyester blend fabric that they have had developed. It is a really cool high performance fabric that isn't at the price tag of Dyneema. So you've got the lightweightness of nylon in the fabric, but then you've got the polyester which helps with more strength with the water absorption being less on the fabric so the fabric doesn't stretch as much as if it was 100% nylon. And it's also just a stronger, better fabric in general. So it's cool to see that companies are still innovating. They're still working to design things that create better performance for you in your backpacking tent and your time out in the backcountry. And so that equals additional money as well. So with all of that said, which option do you go with? Do you spend less money and get more of the generic off-brand type of tent, or do you invest the money into something that is quite a bit more expensive and has a bit more of those unique design elements to it? Well, that seriously comes down to personal preference. What does your budget allow for? How much weight are you willing to carry? And additionally to that, are there ethical things in your belief system that would lean you toward something else? And I think that that is actually an important thing to consider is, are the products that you're purchasing being made in a fair trade type of factory? Are the people who are making the product getting paid a fair wage? When you are looking at overseas manufacturing are an important consideration and a company like Nemo or Big Agnes or MSR and such, they are going to put their money into a factory that is providing fair trade opportunities for their workers. The last consideration that I'll talk about is how often are you actually going to be going out and does spending $500 on a tent to get used one time a year equal the best experience possible? Or if I know that the trips that I'm going on are going to be pretty fair weather, I'm not gonna have crazy uh, windstorms, rainstorms, snowstorms or anything, and I can get away with a much less expensive tent, then I would say go with the cheaper option. If you aren't going to be experiencing crazy weather, then why spend a crazy amount of money for something that is just there to basically provide you with the protection that you need for that trip. But on the flip side, if you are going to be going out a lot and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the backcountry, my opinion is invest the money into a higher quality, better piece of gear that is going to have all of those design and performance aspects in it that give you the best experience possible. So I hope all of that makes sense and helps you understand the differences between 
a budget focused and a lower cost general generic type of tent versus a expensive tent from a name brand type of thing. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you in the next one. See you later.